Hello YouTubers, uh, Merry Christmas again. Uh, I make this video to inform you about uh, some new information you are going to see uh, in my videos from now on. Uh, I have made some changes in uh, MSI Afterburner and uh, I want to explain what uh, this number uh, you're going to see, the numbers you're going to see from now on, what they mean. Uh, so I have here my two uh, Radeons uh, 5850s uh, at 1 GHz each and uh, I'm going to run a session of uh, the Tropics demo in uh, DirectX 9 mode as I explained in my previous video uh, DirectX 10 and DirectX 11 have serious issues with MSI after, uh, MSI's afterburner when uh, the the server is running the information server uh, so I'm going to run this uh, Tropics demo now with all the new info that uh, you're going to see and I'm going to let the demo finish and then I'm going to rerun it again without MSI running to see if there is any frame rate difference so let me launch it here okay I may have to reduce the, the font a bit I don't know we'll see this stupid camera loses focus all the time okay uh, what we see here is GPU 1 the, temp the temperature of uh, GPU 1 this is the GPU usage the next number is uh, the fan speed and the last number is uh, the core speed 1000 megahertz the same data is for the for GPU 2 temperature GPU usage the second number fan speed the third number and the core clock for the fourth number here we see the mem speed I may reduce that uh, I may or not reduce I may not include that and uh, of course here we have uh, the version of uh, which uh, AP is uh, running and the frame rate. Okay, let's uh, leave it to finish and uh, I will show you the result at the end. Okay, the, the benchmark uh, of Tropics demo is about to finish. Uh, as we can see, the first GPU has a fan speed of uh, 54% and the second GPU has a fan speed of 62%. That's a bit high and a bit noisy. Uh, I think this is because uh, I have them now in my armor case with my Q9550. Okay, the DirectX 9 uh, benchmark has finished. I have 101.2 frames per second, and now I'm going to rerun the same benchmark without uh, MSI after burner run to see if there is any difference in the frame rate result. Okay, I have prepared. Uh, the system for another run of uh, the Tropics demo as you can see uh, here I have uh, disabled the on-screen display of MSI Afterburner the cards work at 1 GHz I have used the same settings as before and now I'm going to run the Tropics Uniting Demo in DirectX 9 mode again, I repeat. So to compare the, the two results. Uh, 
I'm starting the benchmark here. Okay, let's see how it goes. What the fuck? It says 180 frames per second here. Okay, I think DirectX 9 has issues too. Okay, let's see. Okay, the, the second run without the MSI after burner is about to, to finish. From what I have seen so far, the frame rate was uh, higher, even in DirectX 9 mode. So I guess MSI Afterburner has issues with any DirectX when uh, in crossfire mode. Oh. Stupid phone. Okay, here is the result. Okay, the the demo finished uh, without MSI on screen display working. We now have 130.3 frames per second in direct 3D9 mode. That's uh, 30 frames more. 30 frames more. I don't know why this is happening. I will inform the developers about that. So I, I will leave this video as it is. And I will post it in their website. This uh, has to be fixed, obviously. 130.3 frames per second compared to 101.2 frames per second. I had 90, 99 frames per second in DirectX uh, 10 mode without MSI after burner running and 60 frames per second in DirectX 10 mode uh, with MSI after burner running. So for now I will not be using MSI after burner on screen display uh, and uh, we will see what will happen until the developers fixes. Okay, thanks for thanks for watching. Bye bye.